Hey everybody, welcome back. I have today a ladies steampunk journal is what I'm calling it. You can see it's a little frilly, but it's also steampunky. There's the back. Uh, I had I bought this paper. Um, it's from Fab Scraps, and I love it. It is so cute. So um, had to have it. So I built this little journal, and this was a lot of fun because <clears throat> uh, we like steampunk anyway, and. G has like tons of little steampunk things hanging out. So I got to go through his stuff. Don't say anything. Okay. Um, it's a softer hardcover or a, I don't know what you would call it. It's uh, a couple of layers of old like cereal boxes and then I covered it in a really uh, nice material. So that's what it's made out of and it's just got some seam binding that I dyed and I just love the images so much that I kind of left them alone I, I added a few things here and there but they're just darling and all of this was um, double-sided too so that's awesome and you'll be able to see that on this one it's double-sided with I don't know like pipe works maybe is what it looks like and then this is from uh, EVG she had some printables and that's you know I don't waste anything so there's some more scraps for a little writing card here and I just did a little bit of stamping because it really didn't need too much um, I didn't distress or coffee dye everything it's kind of a mix of stuff because that's kind of what st steampunk means to me is you know old and new mix so this is a really cute uh, shoe I got this at Nick of Time she has a lot of really cool um, old tiny printables so I printed that out and you probably can't see but I did um, the glossy accents around it a little bit and then, again, that's just some scraps that I made into a tag because they're just so cute. <clears throat> and I want to say that this is Graphic 45. It came in a big roll like wrapping paper. And these are some die cuts. We have a die cut machine, so I did a lot of those. And there's a Tim Holtz person with a little butterfly that I distressed. Another card, made a little tuck out of her. Lots of sewing, different colors. I just kind of went with the colors that were already on the paper and didn't throw out any scraps. Gotta use them, gotta use them. Billy Band is made from scraps too. There's a metal, another metal gear that I added. This is a, um, clear plastic sheet that I got from Priscilla and I cut it down and just made little tags or tag holders for these little beauties here and just use a variety of different papers as well as the fab scraps but that's what it's based off of I guess you could say and I'm attached there we go a note card here There's a pocket, and I don't throw away any of my packaging, and you guys probably know that, so I just made a little note card out of that packaging. And I added another bird. You'll see a few birds in here, so I added another one in there. They're pretty cute. And here's some more of that packaging, and I put some clock hands on it and backed it with cardstock so that you've got a nice writing surface. This is a cardboard gear that uh, G had cut out and he wasn't going to use it so I took it. And there's some embossing that I just kind of highlighted. I don't know if you can see the highlight or not. It turned out okay. I like it. 
And there's another one of the cards that came with a kit. She's so cute. I just love the birdcage on her head. It cracks me up. Hence the birds. <laughs> this page is really cute too with all the different colors. And they all go together. They're all very pastel-y, lady-like. So that's kind of where I took my inspiration. And that is a flip out with another scrap of paper and another EVG print out there. That's just too cute. He's on top of a hot air balloon. <laughs> this is uh, Kool-Aid dyed from Angie. And it went perfectly in here and it feels fabulous. This is Kaiser Craft paper. And I just very carefully cut around one of the clocks here, which you can't see too well, but it did make a, let's see if I can get it back in here now, it made a cute little pocket. Uh, graphic 45, I also used a lot of that. This cool bag uh, came from Dolly, thank you Dolly, because oh, it's gorgeous, and listen, Oh, and also, that's a new stamp that she gave me. Birdcage. Fits perfectly. This cracks me up. It's a teapot, like a steam-powered <laughs> buggy. <laughs> cracks me up. Here's another pocket page, and there's another Graphic 45 uh, packaging. These I got off of a website, and I'm sorry, I can't remember what it was right now, but they've got all, all kinds of really neat Victorian images, and I like the hats. So that's what that is. This came in part of the kit. It says New Horizons. Get a little bit of stenciling here and there. It's the other side of that bag with some more the little mustaches are killer. With some more uh, scraps there. Uh, this was a good opportunity to go through my scraps and really just use them all. And you'll notice there's not a whole lot of hard edges in here because, you know, it's for a lady, so I made it kind of feminine as far as rounded edges. Here's a, that other side of the Kaiser Craft paper. I did back that. Uh, with another piece of scrap um, uh, cardstock to make this pocket, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's a ticket that I just ran through some ink that I had on my craft mat. And it really lends itself well to just adding little die cuts and metal pieces wherever, wherever we want. And Dolly also sent um, it was my Christmas present, but it didn't get here until January, so we're calling it January Miss. Uh, but she sent some really cool antique lace trim, and hello, it's perfect for this. It made the best pockets ever. And then again, I don't like to throw things away when I can use them, so I made this tag out of some scraps, uh, also scraps from my uh, lace and ribbon box. And this is a, a great way to use a lot of that stuff. And I'm trying not to buy anything in January, so I've got a few more days. I think I can do it. <laughs> There's a couple of more pages there. This uh, Priscilla sent Oh, I think it was a combo Halloween Christmas gift. <laughs> um, and it's Prima paper, but as I was looking at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's got the time machine written on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. And um, she sent me several sheets that were dealing with um, time travel, steam engines, things like that. So it's perfect. And here's another one of those die cut birds, and I kind of made him look a little mechanical there. I don't know if you can see. And I 
think, I can't remember where I got that. Oh, I'll have to think about it. Uh, some more of the paper that I, you know, don't want to uh, miss out on. And then I just attached a little tiny vellum tag to that also. And here you can see that pretty trim that Dolly sent. It was so perfect for this. I used it several times. This is graphic 45 paper. And here's a little envelope. I put a little tag in there. And that is just so cute. Love it. Got some little half pages here. Here is, uh, I cut a clock out of a, the scrap from the Kaiser Craft. I made a little tuck out of that. Another little ticket from Graphic 45. Shana sent me this really cool tissue paper with all the keys. That was hard to give up. But you know, it's for a good cause. And here's some more little collaging that I did with, you know, things that I already have. And that was a butterfly probably from April and I distressed it, cut it in half, turned it upside down. So again, I'm using a lot of my scraps here, which is good. And here's another piece of that Prima paper from Priscilla and you probably can't see very well, but it's got like little schematic kind of things on it. And it says steam engines. And then this is a piece of packaging that I glued some more scraps on to make a nice big sturdy tag. This was a scrap piece of paper that I turned into a pocket right here. And I like this gear set, the deer, the die cut, but it's too thin to use by itself. So I just glued it onto a piece of scrap paper and cut around it to make pockets. And she's gorgeous. Ah, I love her. So pretty. So this is the last signature. There's four of them. And continuing on with the theme there. Got, this is another uh, little cardboard piece that G cut out. Some more uh, Ephemeris Vintage Garden. Lots of writing space. This is a calligraphy page, and I thought it looked pretty cool in here. And some old scraps, some Tim Holtz scrap paper that I had. That is... <clears throat> a scrap of the actual piece because I buy 12 by 12 paper so when you cut it down you've got like these kinds of cool pieces that you can use I love them and there's a little card there I just cut that out of the scrap piece and again I backed it because of the little pokies on it and then I just sewed it to the page and boom instant pocket And some more writing spots. There is another um, image that I got, I believe, off of Nick of Time. And it was really a cool uh, boot. I just typed in Victorian ladies boots or something like that. And instead of um, uh, uh, painting it, I poked holes and laced it like they would have. I, hope, I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's what that is. And then this is another Prima paper that um, is a Hermelinda tag here. So, and I backed this so that you won't catch anything on the laces. And there's another piece that says Steampunk. This was paper that I had left from Shana's Stephen King book that I did. And here's some more of that beautiful lace from Dolly. And a couple of more tags. And they these are all blank on the back so that you can write or decorate them however. And some more writing spots. Little journal card here. That was a piece. The piece wasn't big enough to do anything with, but it had this perfect 
little thing here. So I just cut that out for some decoration. Some little collaging of some pieces that I had. This has got metal and paper embellished on here. I love these blank because number one, they're just so pretty. Number two, you can write or even you know attach a picture or something if you wanted to here. And then this is the back. And this, I didn't do anything with that lace. I just love it. And then here's some more tags. And, ah, this is a great idea. Poke more than one hole and you can use up your scraps. That's my tip of the day for ya. And then that's a packaging uh, tag that I had made. And that is that. So... Thank you very much for hanging out with me for 16 minutes. That's not too bad. Um, I'm going to do another video that I hope to have today or tomorrow about um, another traveler's notebook that I made and some new things that I'm putting in my Etsy shop. And my Etsy shop, I love it. You guys are so great. Everybody that uh, helps me out, <coughs> excuse me, um, and my thing this year is, um, you know, of course, we can't really stop buying from the big box stores. You know, we're always going to need something from Hobby Lobby or Joann's or whatever. But, you know, a lot of us have Etsy stores and we want people to come to our Etsy store. Well, that I want to go to other people's Etsy store as well. So for, I like for example, I need some new ribbons and because I've used them all. <laughs> so I'm going to go on to Etsy in February and shop for ribbons. It's only fair, I think. You know, we want people to come to our store, so we should go to their store. So if you have an Etsy shop, uh, please remember that, um, you know, there's a lot of other Etsy sellers out there that are they have really nice stuff. I've gotten a lot of stuff off of Etsy that is just fabulous. And uh, whenever I do that, I will put it on YouTube because, you know, I think we need to advertise that for people. So, that's my rant for the day. But anyway, that's what I'm going to start doing as soon as No by January is up. I'm going to start um, looking for lace and such on Etsy. So... I hope I can find some good deals and I'll pass them along. All right. That's all I got for today. You have a great day. Have a great weekend.